Hi guys, this is my one millionth video. Well, it seems like it anyway. I have gone to Lush for the second time and spent another extortionate amount of money and I now claim to probably have about 90% of the products available in Lush Oxford Street. I have completely avoided the makeup section right now. Um, and I have avoided the candles because they would set me back quite a bit. But apart from that, there's only about 15 products I counted, I think, that I've not yet purchased. It's crazy, I know. I have more money than cents, and now I don't have any money, so I don't have money or cents. But I have lots of Lush things, and that is the most important thing in life, guys, is to take away anything from these videos. So I thought I would do a unraveling because, like yesterday, I actually didn't sniff any of these products. I didn't check the ingredients apart from to scan to make sure they're vegan. Um, that's all I've done. I've just shoved them in my basket and gone, go, 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 through the checkout, let's go home and sniff them. So there might be some surprises in here. There might be some instant love affairs, but it's exciting because I have two bags of unopened stuff to go through. So let's start straight away. So it's pretty deep. Oh, I've got things stuck together here. The first product I have is Melting Marshmallow Moment. Now, I wasn't going to pick this up because I've had Melting Marshmallow Moment before, but this is a bath oil rather than a luxury bath melt. So it's a lot smaller. All of Lush's. Um, bath oils are about half the size of a normal bath one, normal bath milk, and they are £2 each, so they are quite expensive, but I'm hoping that they work miracles in the bath. So this one shares its scent with Snow Fairy, as you know, same scent as the Melting Marshmallow Moment Bath Melts, and I only got myself one of those, just to try. Up next I have Furs, oh this is a really interesting one, this is made to look like a gorse brush. And it has a chrysanthemum on the top, look at that. That's incredible. And Furs does share its scent with the Furs perfume. So that's really nice for those of you who like that from Body Number 2. Um, let's dig in here and get out some more things. What have I got to do? Next up, I have Happy Thoughts Bar Foil. Is happy thoughts. This is green and it has a bit of wood or something in the top there, I can't work it out. It's melting on my hands, as you can see. Um, there is a bath melt called Jack Blossom, I think, or something like that, and it's apple and blossom. And that to me smells of sweet apples and blossom. So I'm actually thinking that they have label that one up from there. I'll show double check that for you before I review it of course. Uh, up next we have grass. Oh yeah and this shares its scent obviously with the grass sour gel and I can smell that straight away. Yeah gorgeous green colour. Lovely normal size bubble bar. Quite easily do two to three baths. Really vivid green. If you like your grassy sort of earthy smells you will absolutely love that. Here, guys. Got a lot to get through. This is UV mangoed, and yeah, it smells like UV mangoed. Um, really bright, citrusy smell. Except instead of it being a bar, it now looks like a bug that has a hole in it with no face. But it's pretty, and it smells gorgeous. So I've got one of those to try. And then I also got what's here: ginger. Oh. I brought this, but I don't think I'm going to like it. Normally, in sense. Oh, no. Ginger is exactly what you'd imagine it to be. It is part of the ginger family. It shares its scent with badass shower gel, ginger lotion, um, sex in the shower, moti bomb, all those ginger scents that some people love, that I hate. It shares its scent with that, so I'll be trying that out, but I can't imagine it being one, but it won't be one of my again. Um, now next up, this is the only product that I have opened actually before showing you guys, because it's not vegan. 
My friend put it in my basket. This is the Milky Bar Bubble Bar. My friend put it in my basket because they thought that I didn't have it. And they're right, they didn't have it. But it has skimmed milk in it. And it shares its scent with a hot milk bubble bar. But it kind of grosses me out that it's hot milk in it. Um, but I would expect it to have milk in it, given that it's called Milky Bar. So that will be going to one of the lucky guys, perhaps in the next competition. Let's carry on digging deep. I've got a lot to get through. Next up we have Floating Tea Reusable Bubble Bar. This is the one that looks like a tea bag, I think. Yes. This is Floating Tea. The wrap, really massive. I'm quite intrigued to see what's in there. In there. And this is, oh, that's really nice. That smells to me like Happy Happy Joy Joy. There's a lot of products that smell very similar. They have that really refreshing, crisp floral smell. And I'm liking that one. I can smell orange in there. I can smell sort of a, a slight grounded tea smell. But it's definitely orange flower. Orange flower is a big product in Lush's store at the moment, I think. Um, up next, I have sunflower deodorant. And it has such a strange smell. This 100 gram block set me back £4.95. I wasn't going to pick it up. When I went back in there today, I thought, you know what? It's one of the only products I haven't got. I might as well. I don't know how I'm going to use that under the armpit. Bit of a weird shape. But it has such a weird smell. It almost doesn't work, but then it does. It's almost, it's got sunflowers in it. And chrysanthemums. It's a, really, it's a floral smell, but it has an, an extra element to it that I can't quite figure out what it is. But I'll come back to that later, but that is sunflower deodorant. Uh, up next I have, oh, I love this one, Monjour Gustave. Oh, it's such a fun family one. Here we go. Um, without question, without fail, always and invariably exceedingly lovely. Take a whirl with Monjour Gustave in the bath and let lavender oil, rose and tobacco absolutes wash over you. I can't smell the tobacco absolutes yet. I can smell the rose and the lavender very strongly. The lavender is the strongest one. It's it's almost like um, French Kiss, but then it has that lovely rose and that sort of soft, smooth smell behind it. Um, yeah, digging in still. I'm digging in. Now the next one here is quite a strange one, but I love it. That. This is the Windmill Reusable Bubble Bar. Oh, wow. That shares its scent with something, I think. It's ginger. It says lime, orange, ginger and clove. But to me that is ginger. Almost like a flat ginger beer. With a bit of sweetness behind it. So like fresh ginger beer. Fresh but flat. If that makes any sense. I'm quite intrigued to see if that actually works in the box underneath the running tap. So that is Windmill Bubble Bar. Next up I have this that I missed yesterday, Razzle Dazzle, one of the most popular bath ones to come out in the store. And this one says, if your hinges are all rusting, give in the old Razzle Dazzle. Um, it's got Persian lime and bergamot oils. Ooh, that's really nice. That reminds me of a very old-fashioned 90s perfume. That's really nice. I can't really describe that to you guys. It is sweet, but there's an extra element to that that's really, really good. I'm going to figure it out. She could read my views. Um, what have we got next? Oh, a few extra things here. We have Rub, Rub, Rub Body Scrub. This obviously shares its scent with Rub, Rub, Rub Body Scrub, the liquid form, um, Sakura Bath Bomb. 17 cherry tree lane soap and so on. It's so gorgeous, look at that. Really lovely. It's a little bit smaller than if you were to buy Buffy. A little bit thinner. But it feels quite heavy, so it's probably quite compact. Um, that's sea salt, um, lots of butters and so on. It has a lovely cherry blossom scent to it. Oh, it's a bit. Um, Next up, I picked up the only other toothy tabs I could see that I hadn't already got. This is called Oral Pleasure, and it's passion fruit, and it says here electric daisies. I'm intrigued by what electric daisies are. Hmm. 
it smells like passion fruits fruit juice and it does have that very very subtle floral um background smell i like that it's very similar to passion fruit lip balm I don't quite know how I feel about brushing my teeth with that though. It looks more like a sweet, like I have a new flavour of Tic Tac. But still, I'll give it a go. I'll give everything a go. Um, next I've got this, Giant's Gel. Now there's quite a few products in the store that are not labelled up properly. Some that are labelled vegan when they're not. And some that are not labelled as vegan when they are. So I brought this because I couldn't see anything on the back that said it wasn't vegan. But if I'm wrong, I'll be giving this product away. So this main, the main ingredient here is fresh strawberries, followed by salt and lots and lots of ingredients I can't name. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. That's really light and floral with a very slight hint of strawberry. When I see a bottle like this and the colour, the peach colour, I thought it was going to be like a yummy, yummy, yummy scent or very similar. But that's not, that almost reminds me of a Lynx deodorant. After you sprayed it on yourself and you've let it rest for a while, so it's lost that horrible toxic smell you initially get when you spray it. That's what this smells like to me. Lynx. So that is Giant's Gel, sorry, it's a hair dressing. It's supposed to add volume to your hair. It's the completely opposite of what I need to do to my hair. Um, I've got a couple more. I've got a small bottle of beautiful shower gel that is going to a special person. And that, for those who didn't see my first video on the shower gels, is the same scent as the sun. It's got a gorgeous, pearly, sunflower yellow design. And next I have Zen Soap. So basically I went to the soap counter today with the intent of purchasing most of the new range of soaps. And I bought all but about two of them. Um, and I just went up to the lady at the counter, gave her my Foman's big long list and put 100 grams of each of those please so uh i have no idea what to expect but that is really really strange i quite like that it's quite relaxing i suppose that's why it's called zen it's like a sort of i wouldn't say it's black i'd say it's more really dark gray color soap with that and if you see the whole piece it's like a really it's about that thick and it's like a big ring um that's gorgeous it. Sandalwood patchouli. I can I get that. I get that. Uh, let's do a couple more. Let's we'll finish up. Another piece of soap here, which doesn't um doesn't smell like you'd expect, but it smells better. To me, well, it smells of mint. It's a really nice spearmint, like a creamy spearmint. And it reminds me of um, the mint part of candy cane soap. And given that candy cane soap is one of my favorite scents, this is amazing, I love it. So that is maple soap. And it's, it's a mint and pistachio scented soap. And I'm hoping this pistachio is coming through more when the water hits it. And the last one I'm going to do for this video is Golden Slumbers Bath Bomb. And this is not a new one. This is one that's come up many a time. It's proved very popular. And it's just a lovely lavender scent. If you like Unicorn Horn or French Kiss or any of the lavender scented bubble bars, Play-Dohs, you will love this one. Um, I've sort of buying one to help me to sleep and because it's glittery and a little bit different to what I had last time I had one. So that is Golden Slumbers. Well, there is part one. There are still a few more products in here and I haven't even started the second bag, so check back and see my second part.